UNSW and Taronga have been working towards this bilby reintroduction in Sturt National Park for years. UNSW has established two 2,000 hectare feral free exclosures and a broader 10,000 hectare wild training zone. The bilbies that we released went into one of the 2,000 hectare exclosures. This is an arid desert environment, but this year it's actually had a bit of rain and even had rain during spring. So that was why we've pushed through and got these bilbies out because the conditions right now are absolutely perfect. So the morning after the release, um, it was straight back to work. For the first month, the bilbies are being tracked every day so we can keep a good tab on them and understand their movements um, and that they're feeding and that they're all doing well and settling in. So the radio tracking involves um, moving around the site on foot, in the Polaris, in the ute, um, using the receiver to pick up the unique signal from the VHF transmitter on the tail of every bilby. Once you find that signal, you've got to follow it until um, you actually find the burrow that the bilby is sheltering in during that day. We take some measurements of that burrow, we record its location, and over time we'll be able to build up a map of how they're using that habitat. Um, you know, understanding why they might be preferencing certain areas, certain food sources. That'll help us in the long run make sure that that population is sustainable. Over the first few days, it was just awesome to see the distances they were traveling and the amount of foraging going on. So some individuals were traveling a few kilometers in a single night and then a few kilometers back the next night. This is very similar to what we saw when we released them into the sanctuary at Taronga Western Plains, but just on a bigger scale. Um, there's also heaps of evidence of foraging, so they're obviously finding food. Um, and really pleasingly, we started to see burrow sharing between males and females on a couple couple of occasions so hopefully that's a good sign that a few months down the track there might be some young bilbies on the ground. For Taronga, right now our focus shifts to 12 months time. Um, we've got to breed more bilbies in our sanctuary for release in wild deserts and boost those numbers. It'll take a few years to make sure that population is sustainable and secure. There's other rewilding projects in New South Wales that need bilbies and there's other projects around Australia that need bilbies. Um, Taronga is the engine room for producing these, uh, these animals, making sure that the founders are genetically diverse, behaviourally robust, um, and we're setting up these populations for success.